Okay, update time. I've got the seat mounted with the cover on it. And I have both the front wheels with the steering column and the floor. So, sorry I didn't really videotape too much, but it's easier to work faster without videotaping everything. Here's another look at the painted go-kart seat, which I painted black, obviously. How I put the floor in was uh, I had the go-kart jacked up and I brought it from the bottom coming up through in between these two holes and then flounded it out and then jammed it in here and put these bolts in the back. Some of the holes didn't really line up which was odd because they used to but uh, some trimming made that work. First things first, you can notice that it's red, which in the last video I was painting. But it's now finally installed, uh, assembled fully, except for the engine, which rests over there, which is in waiting to be rebuilt. But that's my next project, which I'll get around to soon. But you can see here, yesterday I was able to hook up the brakes which are mechanical brakes, which involve wires, which are downside, or not as good as hydraulic brakes, because you don't get the feel of braking, but they work, they work fine, and I'm not that unhappy about them. And axle assembly, which needs some re-lubing after cleaning it all up. Another thing is to not forget to put these keys back in when you take the hub, hubs and rotors uh, off. Because if you don't have them, that's not going to be as safe. <clears throat> I've never actually got around to filming the floor that I've uh, built for this because the previous one was bending and folding all around these edges it was getting cracked so what it is pretty much just a flat piece of sheet metal edges are bent up and <clears throat> there's some trimming that you need to do to fit, fit it properly but it's relatively simple something that, something that anyone could actually do in a day I also wrapped some Gorilla Tape on the edges here just because they were pretty sharp and didn't want to have anyone cut their foot on it. Then the next project to do is to get some round bar and insert it in this hole and then have it come out and do like a 90, run along and then do another 90 and insert into this hole. Which that will act as like a side bumper, you can kind of imagine it. And that prevents like if you're running with another go-kart, their tire coming in and like hopping over your tire and flipping them, for example. Which, this one already has the bumpers, but these are professionally made ones. The ones I'll make will just be like a flat piece of plastic mounted to the side, not uh, like these ones are three-dimensional. So, that's how I'm gonna do it. Also, I almost forgot, this is the brake lines that I used uh, for the brakes on the go-kart, which it's this Jaguar not to be mistaken with Jaguar <laughs> but um you can get it at like a your local cycle shop or anything. It has like a I don't know, say like a silicone inside to 
help with the, you know, the wire moving in and out of it, moving inside it. And that was probably one of the most needed upgrades because I could barely push the brakes on the old setup because the old the old uh, brake cables were all crusty and uh, there was fraying. So on the inside of the wire, it would it would uh, catch. 